Hello everyone, welcome to another problem in Tosca Automation Obstacle Series. So basically, we are going to target 14090. Here, click on the Generate button and select the right values and click on Submit. Note that the drop down contains only one element matching the criteria. Okay. So first, we have to click on this. Pretty pretty easy. Now, in this particular table, we have a lot of different elements in which it says that select the word that starts with letter T. So if I click on this, if I am getting Tosca here, it should be selected. Similarly, if I select second one, it should select the R1 and similarly the other stuff and then finally click on submit. This is what our problem statement is. So I'll just click on let me try again and uh, uh, basically I can capture both of this thing in, in one go. Pause the video, try to think about the strategy, how you solve this and then take a look at the remaining video. Now let me fire up my scan. I'll go to my modules and I'll just capture all the necessary elements so for the person who is new to the series I have created a lot of videos uh, this obstacle series contains a lot of different problem statements so you can check out my other videos as well okay uh, I will capture generate I will go to this so this is coming as a form of table I'll select this and I'll just select this particular uh, element as well and I'll select submit so whenever we are talking in terms of web table and we have similar problem statement, it becomes rather easy to navigate and work around it. Uh, here you'll be able to see that select is not uniquely identified, but this is something we can handle using the row and column because we'll direct, okay, this particular row, this particular column and uh, with the basic uh, element of select, we'll be able to uniquely do that. So I'll not bother about making it unique here. I'll just put the obstacle and I'll save this. I'll close this and we'll quickly create our test case. So I'll drag and drop to my test cases. And so the main important thing here is how to select the right value, right? So first thing we need to understand is we can navigate to specific row and specific column. Okay, so here what I can do is I can go to second row. Why second row? Because the first one just contains the headers. Okay, second row and the first column. Okay, so I'll put first column here. Now if I go here, I will select this and I'll copy because I want to capture this in order for the input criteria for the value, right? So I'll put that value here. Now, in order to use capture only this particular statement, we have dynamic buffer in Tosca. Okay, so you, you can just remove this and put curly brackets x b and then whatever va buffer value you want to put. So I'll put just value here and I'll close this. So this is essentially going to capture the value a in this. Okay, now I need to pass this particular value into this particular combo box okay but if it is out of the combo box table then it is going to look for its unique properties uh, the easier way to do this is I'll go to my modules I will go to my specific module and what I can do is I can put this select inside this row cell so if I drag and drop this thing here now I can direct which exactly which select statement to use. Okay, so it, so here we are in the second row first column. Okay, uh, we have to actually, this is actually the second column. So what I can do here is I can put second column here. Now, since I have to pass this value, I will put curly brackets B capital B value okay and I'll close this so this is going to capture the first word but it could be starting and then ending with like the word could can contain anything so I'll pass a wild character here let me show you why I'm doing that is so if I go here it is a and if you select this from a it is accelerate so I don't need to bother about the other statements I just need to select that okay so that's why I'm passing the wild card here now this is going to work for the first section. Uh, however, this is input and this needs to be select. I don't need to ver verify it. Okay. Now the similar thing 
I can repeat for the other statements. Okay. So what we can do is we can quickly put it for the other other statement. So so v r w and t. What I can do is second row first statement. I can just copy this. You can reuse the buffers as well because every time the value keeps changing, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, and this also you can keep it same. Okay. So, but only the this particular value needs to change. Okay. So, I can pass the value here and this is going to be input and this is going to be select okay. now there could be an easy way to do this so what i can do is i can copy this and i can so this needs to be three i'll just put uh, in total we have three more so i'll copy three more so i've just copied one of these and i'll just keep pasting it okay all i gotta do is i gotta change this to four five and six okay and then our problem statement initially was to click on generate valid uh, generate this and then click on submit so what we can do is we can just pass the remaining statements here so i'll just pass a uh, x here and i'll pass a uh, x here let's quickly validate if this is working so I'll run my script and see. Probably we'll have a, a couple of errors here. But we'll see in case it works. Okay, awesome. So see, that's how it has properly selected everything and it has finished off the problem. If you want to see, you can we can run it again just to validate in case the words or the letters changes. How does it work or not? So I'll just click on run in Scratchbook. see so whenever you your automation problem is solved you'll be able to see good job so this particular problem is solved stay tuned for the other videos thank you very much do like share and subscribe have a great day